There's some issues though. Low fat equals high sugar. And that's another thing. We're trading off one thing for another. And that's what we're doing right now. We're changing one thing and we're adding in another thing. And that's what's kind of dangerous. You know, sometimes you take medicine to lower your blood pressure, but then the trade-off is 10 different side effects. When you look at this though, the negative impact on blood sugar, insulin, metabolism, cancer, obesity, some pretty sensitive topics that really rub people the wrong way because again, we're taught that there's no cause to any of this. It's the cards you're dealt with, don't worry about it, blame it on someone else. And, and this is where I hope to change some things. It's just that the fat is really important. It helps to regulate also the building blocks, it lowers inflammation, and it helps with detoxification. I mean, if our bodies are detoxing right, that's a good thing. We can keep doing this stuff, and it makes up your brain tissue. Um, in our country, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, neurological degenerative diseases, they're on the rise. So this is where, when you look at fats, saturated fats are absolutely important from a cellular level. It's a bilipid layer and saturated fats are what comprise those cells. So it doesn't cause heart disease, it prevents it if it's the right type of fat. So you've got to dive into a little bit more. You can't have that black and white review. You've got to look at improper ratios of fat. You need to understand what those ratios are. You've got to understand how to identify them and then we'll get into some things that you can change up. Here's the pyramid of, of what I focus, and Dr. Uh, Wolfson, who, who is kind of one of my leaders and educators, he's an um, orthopedic doctor, a DO, he teaches you know, paleo for heart health, and, and I have a whole workshop on this, on just on how to treat heart disease with proper ratios. And this is very different from any of us who are in school and had that lovely pyramid. At the very bottom of the period, which should be the largest in number, are vegetables. When you look at this, vegetables should be the highest number of carbohydrates or, or the energy focus. Carbohydrates can come from vegetables. That's what is in there. You want to look at what your body uses for energy. When I look at energy production, fat is much more effective to use as calories or energy than carbohydrates or protein are. When I teach patients how to obtain health, Health is not as simple as just eat something because all of you have known somebody who exercises every day, eats all organic and drops dead of a heart attack at age 50. Whereas somebody else we know smokes two packs a day, drinks a bottle of bourbon every afternoon, you know, doesn't do anything. And we're all thinking like, yeah, that's going to be me, which, hey, I wish it could be, right? But here's the thing is that there's a difference. And when I teach this, it's your body's ability to heal. And when we look at this, if you were to know that you're going to live until 94, you know you're going to be that age, when's the best time to make these changes? It's not 20 years from now, it's today. Professionally, my setting and my license is